For some time now, the North, um, they've been urging President Muhammad Buhari to give a voice or to listen to um, the agitations from Biafra. Right now, we know what's going on is um, this um, constitution review. Constitution review has been going on in the six geopolitical uh, uh, regions of the country. But uh, the Northern Coalition, they are stating right now that what needs to be done, that the constitution review is good, but because of this current or immediate challenge that we're going through, the agitations are rising seriously. IPOB is not giving up that um, what they feel that needs to be done. Um, this constitution review should be suspended, should be put on hold first and let uh, Biafrans let them be listened to. They should be listened to and then let a referendum um, take place. That is quite interesting to note that this is coming from um, the north as well. We'll bring you all of the details, all they've put before President Mohamed Buhari. You know, it was uh, a couple of days ago, they told President Mohamed Buhari to dialogue, dialogue, have a dialogue with these people, with Biafra. Have a dialogue with them, know what um, their concerns are, their worries, that this is the way forward, that the way Buhari is going, not the way he's going right now, even the even uh, the order that he put, shoot on sight, kill all of them that he's doing, that, that that's not the solution, that will not bring peace. That will not bring an end. That will not even stop the agitation. You know, Buhari recently again, it was yesterday again, after I initially uh, released that hate speech, after I initially released that hate speech of uh, uh, planning whatsoever he wants to do to Igbos, repeating what happened to them, boasting about how he was part of the government that um, carried out that um, genocide, the attack. He's, 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 he stated it again that he stands by his words that those people, he was referring to IPO by the way, that if they behave any other, that um, they will get anyhow kind of treatment. We know that sort of language, that is a military kind of language. It's a military language. It's not nothing civilian at all, nothing civil about that. The big question is that are we under military government? The way Buhari has been ruling and leading this country, it's not is is anything. It's nothing close to democracy. Deny the people the freedom of speech, uh, that they cannot speak freely. You know when Twitter reacted, Twitter said he can't understand that the same rights that um, applies, the same right, the same freedom that citizens have offline should be the same online. It looks like Buhari's government, they, they are not even competent enough to even understand all of these things. You can't take the rights away from people because the reason they gave that they placed a ban on Twitter was that um, Nigerians are speaking too much, they are using it to spread fake news. What sort of fake news is What is happening? What is happening? Buhari released hate speech. Was that a lie? Was that a fake news? Well, um, Northern, uh, um, a Northern group has called for an immediate suspension of the constitution review. We'll bring you all of the details, all they are proposing right now before President Mohamed Buhari. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. The coalition of northern groups, CNG, has urged the National Assembly to suspend the ongoing constitution review to enable government to organize a referendum on the actualization of a Biafra Republic. It also urged the National Assembly to invoke the doctrine of necessity to organize a Biafra referendum as a final step towards the separation of the Igbo from the rest of Nigeria. The CNG spokesman, Abdulaziz Suleiman, who made a call while addressing journalists yesterday in Abuja, said that the unrelenting disturbances created by certain interest groups in the Southeast in the form of the agitation for a separate state of Biafra had turned violent. It appealed to the government to invite the United Nations, UN, African Union, AU, and the Economic Community of West Africa, ECOWAS, to initiate the process of self-determination that will mandate the Biafrans out of the Nigerian Union by leveraging the several relevant international treaties and conventions to which Nigeria is a signatory. He said, we demand the immediate suspension of the ongoing exercise for the review of the 1999 constitution to concentrate on the first priority of determining who and what actually constitute Nigeria as a nation in the present circumstance in which the Igbo have foreclosed every hope for the rest of us to continue coexisting as one nation. 
in order to achieve the final separation of the Igbo from the rest of Nigeria, will urge the National Assembly to organize a referendum by seeking the cover of the same doctrine of necessity invoked by the Nigerian federal parliament that paved way for former President Goodluck Jonathan's takeover by declaring the late President Umar Musa Yaradua unfit. We ask the National Assembly to prevail on the federal government to invite the United Nations as well as the African Union and ECOWAS to initiate the process of self-determination to mandate the Biafrans out of the Nigerian Union by leveraging the several relevant international treaties and conventions to which Nigeria is a signatory. Suleiman said that the group took the decision to prevent another civil war sequel to the spate of killings and destructions of public infrastructure in the southeast region. He added that the North had continued to bear the brunt of the violent agitations for secession with equanimity, stoical, calm, and resignation. He therefore urged the North to remain the bulwark of respect, integrity, dignity, decorum, tradition, decency, morality, civilization, etiquette, good behavior, politeness, accommodation, and all other positive traits with the assurance that the good will ultimately prevail over evil. As a matter of fact, um, these agitations, they are priorities because um, the agitations, they are still linked to um, the unrest we're experiencing because right now, President Mohamed Buhari is just looking for IPOB members, looking for ESN members. And uh, we know very well that ESN members, they will not just sit and wait that um, they should be picked up. There's going to be a battle. And at the end of the day, people will lose their lives. The worst part of it is that um, even innocent people will lose their lives in all of this. So this northern group, they are stating that um, from their own opinion, they feel that um, this um, constitution review should be put on hold and let the National Assembly prevail on the federal government. The National Assembly should prevail on the federal government and invite the United Nations as well as African Union and ECOWAS and let them uh, um, initiate the process of um, self-determination um, to mandate the Biafrans out of um, Nigerian Union. Since this is what they've been asking for, let a referendum begin. Because Northern groups, they've seen that uh, nothing will deter, nothing will stop um, IPOB members. Look at all of um, the, what uh, President Mohamed Buhari has done against them. Even the one that um, Hopo Zodima did in Imo State still has not stopped them. So to them, they feel that this is the right path to go. Well, guys, let's hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. But let's not forget that if the National Assembly, they are loyalists to President Mohamed Buhari, the Senate President. They are all uh, uh, um, loyalists, so they will be speaking the mind of President Mohamed Buhari. And if Buhari is bent on dealing with IPOB members, he will not want to go this way. Well, let's hear your thoughts. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.